Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques and monarch of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Majesty King Hamid expressed condolences on the demise of the Deputy Governor of Asiya Province, His Royal Highness Prince Mansour bin Mukran bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, who passed away in a helicopter crash along with all officials aboard. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques, monarch of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness expressed condolences on the demise of the Deputy Governor of Asir Province, His Royal Highness Prince Mansour bin Mukran bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, who passed away in a helicopter crash along with all officials on board. The Prime Minister sent similar cables to His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and to His Royal Highness Prince Mukran bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques and monarch of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness expressed condolences on the demise of the Deputy Governor of Asir Province, His Royal Highness Prince Mansour bin Mukran bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, who passed away in a helicopter crash along with all officials on board. His Royal Highness also sent similar cables to His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and to His Royal Highness Prince Mukran bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Gudabiya Palace. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak commended the royal directives of His Majesty the King during the previous meeting in regard to dealing with Qatari practices due to its disrespect of conventions, agreements and relations which the Gulf Cooperation Council was built upon, highlighting how Qatari practices support terrorism and terrorists which harm GCC member states including Bahrain. Regarding recent events which have been held in the Kingdom, the Deputy Premier noted the importance of the Invest in Bahrain Forum 2017, which coincided with the World Entrepreneurs Investment Forum that was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and opened by the Premier's advisor, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Cabinet commended the results of these events in terms of attracting investment and investors to the Kingdom, praising the televised speech of the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres during the forum in which he commended the role of Bahrain in encouraging investment and reinforcing innovation and entrepreneurship. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak also highlighted the importance of the Bahraini Women and Engineering Conference, which was held under the patronage of wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and opened by Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, asserting the significance of such a conference in shedding lights on the gains that have been achieved by Bahraini women in all fields. Also during the meeting, the Cabinet strongly denounced the launch of a ballistic missile attack from Yemen towards Riyadh, saying that the attack on the security and safety of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its brotherly people clashes with international laws, values and principles. The Cabinet commended the efficiency of the Saudi Royal Air Force in successfully intercepting the missile without allowing it to cause any damage and reiterated Bahrain's support for all measures taken by Saudi Arabia to safeguard its security and stability. In this regard, the Cabinet also voiced support to all steps taken by Saudi Arabia to combat terrorism in Yemen and arrest terrorists by announcing financial rewards and bounty of arresting plotters, executors and supporters of terrorist activities of the Houthi militias. In a separate matter, Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak directed a prompt solution to facilitate traffic flow on the King Fahad Causeway on the Bahraini side and reduce the waiting time, especially during weekends and holidays. He urged relevant authorities to find short and long-term radical solutions to avoid traffic jams so as to reduce the suffering of individuals and families travelling on the causeway.
The Minister of Interior explained some administrative and technical preparations which are required in order to receive the large number of travellers on King Fahad Causeway, especially during holidays and weekends. The Cabinet approved the recommendation of the Coordinating Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the plan to enhance the work of council, of tenders and auctions, and approved the amendments of the organisational structure of the council. The Cabinet followed up on 74 projects currently underway, including roads, sanitation and building sectors, at a cost of 120 million Bahraini dinars. It was also briefed on tenders that were established since the beginning of this year in that sector. The Cabinet discussed a memo of understanding between Bahrain and the African Union Commission that aims to reinforce cooperation between the two sides in various development areas and referred the memorandum to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The Cabinet approved a memo of understanding for political consultation between Bahrain and Brazil and delegated the Minister of Foreign Affairs to sign on behalf of the Kingdom. The Cabinet approved a Memo of Understanding for Cooperation in the Field of Healthcare and Medical Science between Bahrain, represented by the Ministry of Health, and the Republic of Korea, represented by the Ministry of Health and Welfare, and delegated the Minister of Health to sign on behalf of Bahrain. The Cabinet appointed the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs to study the renewal of the Memo of Understanding between the Education and Training Quality Authority in Bahrain and the Malaysian Qualifications Authority. The Cabinet referred three draft laws to the Council of Representatives on regulating the press, printing and publishing, amending Article 5 of Law No. 27 of 2005 on education and the regulation of the labour market. The Cabinet took note of Bahrain's participation in the 331st session of the International Labour Organization's governing body recently held in Geneva. Under the patronage of the Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, opened the Industrial Security Conference and Exhibition in the Middle East today. The event is organised by the International Society for Industrial Security with the support of Saudi Aramco, Gulf Petrochemical Industries Company and a number of international oil companies. It saw the attendance of regional and international specialists and experts in industrial security, internet protection, system management and law enforcement, in addition to strategic planners and government officials. The opening discussion session focused on ensuring economic diversification in the GCC countries, which is in support of the GCC strategic security initiatives, as security is a crucial factor for attracting and encouraging investment. Delegated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jauda, led the delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain participating in the World Youth Forum. The forum was inaugurated yesterday by the President of Egypt, Abdul Fattah Al Sisi, in Sham al Sheikh, and was attended by a number of leaders and decision makers. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs highlighted that the forum reflects Arab countries' keenness to call for peace and combat terrorism. He asserted that he believes in the abilities of the youth in making decisions that can develop the international community and solve its problems. The Minister added that Arab countries contribute to achieving the goals of sustainable development and promoting the culture of tolerance and peace. The Minister went on to commend the organisation of the Forum, which reflects Egypt's abilities to host international events. The Forum discussed a number of issues, including terrorism, refugees, development, technology and cultural exchange. 
Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, to distribute 4,800 housing units to citizens, the Assistant Under Secretary of Policies and Housing Services at the Ministry of Housing, Dr. Khaled Al Hayden, said the Ministry started today distributing residential apartments to beneficiaries in Muharraq. Al Hayden stated that the distribution process was smooth with the approval of citizens and without any hindrance or delays. The Board of Directors of the Union of Beneficiaries for Apartment Owners has been elected to carry out their role as determined by the decision of the Minister of Housing to establish the Union of Beneficiaries and its working mechanisms. Al Hayden also said that the Ministry recorded a significant increase in the rate of turnouts on the ownership of apartment projects currently implemented by the Ministry following the development of models of construction in residential buildings and the increase of the area. The first edition of the Bahrain Airport Company Graduates Training Programme, Tahlik, has succeeded in preparing a new generation of young aviation leaders following an intensified theoretical and practical training programme. More now in this report. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa recently visited the ongoing construction at the Bahrain International Airport Expansion Project. Apart from the fact that the project will support Bahrain's strong position in the transport and logistics sector and greatly aid towards the goals of sustainable development, His Royal Highness stressed the importance of employment at the new airport for young Bahrainis, some of whom are already part of the team through Bahrain Airport Company's graduate trainee project, Tahlik. Tahlil training program was launched three years ago. The point of that program was to involve some fresh graduates from different fields and different sectors in the aviation. So we had the training program which was for two years and this training pro program was in that time for a purpose because we had the Bahrain Airport Modernization Program which is to build the new terminal and the surrounding facilities like the air side, land side infrastructures and the other buildings which are needed like a new fire station, a new entrance for the staff which is the super gate and a new central utilities complex uh, which supplies the utilities to the main terminal that we will be having in that construction site. Uh, it all started uh, since my childhood, my parents keep believing that I'll be an engineer when I grow up and that what happened. Uh, after my graduation from school, I joined the uh, University of Bahrain. I studied civil engineering for four years and upon my graduation, uh, as everyone would do, I started looking for a job. This program is a very intensive training program for a couple of years in which you will be enrolled in different sectors of aviation, uh, will be enrolled in deep in the uh, engineering field and work itself, which is related to the airport modernization program. I got the chance to be part of the HLIF program and work on such a big scale uh, project. Um, that gave me the opportunity to use whatever I learned from my previous experience and then I implemented here. Every day I'm learning something new. This experience is very important for me uh, as an architect, uh, as a Bahraini person to be uh, a part of such a big project. Uh, since I was younger, I was trying to know all the information about aviation and aircraft and airports. That was uh, meaningful for me. Uh, after that, I've studied mechanical engineering at Bahrain Polytechnic. So uh, I've heard about the Tahliq program, which was uh, supported by Bahrain Airport Company. I applied for this program, and then we got involved and all aviation sectors or all airport uh, systems to, and we got the knowledge about it. Um, after graduating from Boston, uh, I had a bachelor's in uh, facilities planning and management and I came back to Bahrain and I had this unique opportunity to be a part of Tahliq where it gave me a chance to learn and grow a lot of things and uh, I'm now in the operations department where we're reviewing the designs from the uh, working closely with the consultant um, identifying the gaps between our existing airport and our new airport and ensuring that uh, the infrastructure supports our operational requirements on a day-to-day -day basis i've joined university of bahrain i've studied computer engineering joining tahliq giving give me a great opportunity to apply to what i've studied in my college 
in real life, especially in airport. In airport, we have a lot of systems. We have special airport systems, we have the infrastructure, we have the network. We have to manage these systems together in order to operate our airport smoothly and perfectly. Tahlik also gave me a great opportunity because we have the modernization program now. We are able to build the network ICT systems from scratch. Uh, we are reviewing these systems now, the design phase. And in future, inshallah, we will be installing these systems by our own hand. Reporting on Bahrain Airport Company's graduate training program, Tahlik, this is Paul Fraser at Bahrain International Airport. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah. And let's start with local stocks. The Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,265.64 points, marking a decrease of 11.89 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investment services sectors, and tourism sector. Investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 47% of total shares. 107 transactions included 2,726,379 shares worth 743,370 Bahraini dinars.